Hi there, this is Buffy, and I am so delighted that you have stopped by and watched my video again. And thank you for watching all the ones that I've posted on YouTube. And you can, do, can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube. And I just launched today the Periscope, so I'm going to try that out and see how that thing works as well. So I have moving on up in all the social networking and activities that goes wrong in everything else. Um, I think that everybody else is kind of following that kind of, <laughs> you know, um, following the lead. <laughs> so tonight I'm going to discuss the, um, the top few movies that I've seen in the last few weeks. I think this ironically the best movie uh, for one, First, you take your kids to go see Hotel Transylvania. is a great movie for kids. Um, uh, it's still... It, by the time you're watching this, it depends on what time... You know, if it's past few weeks after you after this movie, the video has been aired, please uh, just re be advised that some movies may not be in theaters in some areas. So, the best ones I can describe is what I have listed now uh, in my small town it's basically hometown of Susanville and we don't get very much um, so uh, yeah we get good selection but we don't get as great as much time to select to go see at our own leisure so we have to follow what they uh, give you as their schedule so I am uh, able to watch what I can, and I will get to uh, some things maybe a little bit late in, as far as posting, or it may be a little bit, you know, right on time, depending on when they start putting them out for the weekend. So, please hang in there and bear with me on that one. Um, basically, the movies that are still in theater still is Hotel Transylvania 2 it is a great movie, and you can go back to one of my videos down there. Um, and please uh, read up or listen to my basic uh, my last review on that one. You can get the insight on that. I can tell you, The Martian is like the overall the top movie right now. I can't even stop talking about it or just stop thinking about what happened in that thing. It's just so impressionable. That movie has really sucked my my thought and mind in, especially. The form of seeing it in 3D, it's better to see it in 3D. Um, I'm much more, yeah, thankful that I did that right decision to go see it in 3D. I've also seen um, The Avengers Part 2 in 3D, and there's a little bit of similarity, uh, but I think the best 3D I've seen so far is The Martian, because you kind of felt like you're part of the picture. And as soon as you got out of the theater or got done, you take off the 3D glasses and you try to get your eyesight back. And that's kind of tells you that's a good thing that you got sucked into the movie and that's what you want. You want to feel that you're part of that movie and you want to close everything around you. The stress that you had, the world that you had, and close yourself off. And if you get yourself right into that story, that into that movie, You've done the best job by sucking yourself into the story and that's why I like The Martian and, and there's going to be others coming up eventually but in a 3D versus 2D I have to say 3D is the best because you feel that that mostly connection to the story and that's why I suggest to go see some things like that especially The Martian in 3D. Um, pretty much I really do not just want to recommend uh, Black Mass. It's not in theaters. It's pretty much out the door, being on its way out to, um, you know, uh, basic, it's pretty much overall getting ready to go on DVD in the next few months, I'm sure of. Um, <clears throat> yeah, San Andreas is a good one to buy on the uh, DVD and 3D, uh, 3D and also Blu-ray. If you have a 3D uh, Blu-ray uh, capable, you can watch that on your uh, TV at your own home at your own leisure time. That's the best thing to do it. Uh, and you now go online, go to Amazon, whatever you want to shop at, get these good 3D glasses. 
and try it yourself at home. And I would actually suggest that some good movies are out to buy. You know, I um, I buy so many movies, it's not even funny. Some days I will have to do an actual video of you guys seeing my whole video collection. It's like, oh my gosh, are you serious? She has that much? Yes, I have a lot. Uh, I can't even count, uh, keep track and take count of so which one's the best one. I can tell you the Fast and Furious 7 is the best movie uh, overall for the last few months I've seen. Um, there's so many. I can break it down to each movie by movie. The Walk is also a good one I would recommend to go see. It's still in theater if you're still uh, uh, now. But also, it... I believe that one has a 3D uh, capable. I wish I would have gotten to see that in 3D just so I could feel that emotionally connection to the story rather than watching it in 2D and kind of seeing it on, on the screen and thinking, okay, well, that's great. I like it. You know, I feel that part of the story. Had I watched it in 3D, I may be more pleased about it, but I do like the storyline. It is so much nice to, to feel like that. Seeing a World Trade Center has never left. Regardless, uh, if it's not there or not, it's still there in spirit. We may we may not see it now, but it's still there, and it's just a, it felt like you're just that thing that's that we all used to having around us for so many years has now disappeared. But it's never going to be gone. It's still there. It's just we don't see it anymore, and I I felt like I felt closer in that uh, the whole story, and especially when they brought that World Trade Center back up as so remarkably the best um yeah i mean there's so many things i've seen um what other uh i uh, yeah i mean so the the movie i would say not so great to watch is black mass plain perfect um another great movie i liked that i thought was good is uh hitman 47 and I also liked, um, what, oh yes, <laughs> the uh, Transporter review, revealed. And I saw that in a theater. I never seen the first three. I was like, okay, I never. I think I need to go back to time and watch those. But I, I think those good. Uh, those are also good movies to see as well. Um, I have also noticed that I, I may have to do a special uh, edition. Uh, talking about the Fifty Shades of Grey that came out early this year of uh, February. So I'm going to have to go back and not only just watch it, but also uh, get my actual special edition review about that because I felt I, I needed to get that back out. I needed to get my story out. But I do want to point out that Fifty Shades of Grey, Transporter Refueled, Hitman 47, you know they all have used as far as car goes? They use... None other than Audi. Those, I mean, I noticed, like, what is this? Are you guys advertising the car Audi? What's so great about it? You know, we got to all go to a store and go out and buy one now because it's got all this feature that we need to buy. I was more focused in every movie that they brought in the Audi. I was like, okay, I'm going to go watch these uh, uh, movies that's going to talk about or show Audi, so obviously I guess you're promoting this uh, this car because it's so good. Maybe I need to go check it out myself. But I have noticed those key points and key elements that they're advertising none other Audis. So I will have to go back and do a special edition of Fifty Shades of Grey so you all can get my um, my actual review of that. And that'll be another uh, video. I'll talk about that down the road. But I do want to point out some of the great stuff. I have seen a lot of great movies. And I, and I mean, this year has been top of the line, the best back to back, back to back, back. I mean, there's nothing else that I felt more disappointed in uh, as far as selection. I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it keeps coming right and left. Yeah, I will um, mention that I will be going in to see the Crimson Peak and also I will be seeing. Uh, Goosebumps. Yeah, I'm going to take my kids to go see that. And then coming out uh, here, I believe, uh, Halloween or that week weekend of or so, that we're going to have the uh, Saw 8. I have all seven. I, I thought some people may not like it or they think this is just not for them. 
I can tell you that it's better to watch behind the scene to get the relation to the um, to understand what goes on in the person's mind. Why do they come up with these little traps that you can't get yourself out of? And I'll go into that in details when I when that movie comes out, and I'll give you my better review. Uh, but my point of view into that, I'm more into in-depth part of the movie. I like to see in things. I like to get right into the story. I want to see how what does it execute it. How does it get your viewers to see your point of view across? And this is the, some of the things that I go in a little bit more deeper about. I'll get right into that in other videos down the road. But I also have a, another video I'll be discussing about is uh, grading how uh, what I give like A, B, C, and D, and yeah, maybe F. But yeah, those are the kind of gradings I will describe a little bit more in depth about what A means, what B means in my book and what they're going to re uh, refer to me. I will tell you that I did give uh, the movie Black Mass a D for a reason. It's because I felt it was disappointing. I felt like it could have gotten a better ending. That's the only thing I can tell you about that because I want to. Go, I don't want to give anything in movies that that uh, any spoiler that you, you you have to see for yourself. I'm not going to go. I'm just going to give you my point of view. I'm not going to tell you everything about it, but. But I will tell you that it has been, I, I kind of tell, I was disappointed. It's like, this is how you're going to end this movie? What? What? And so that way you can get an all full understanding what I mean and my A, B, and C, and D. Um, maybe F, because definitely that's a failure movie. <laughs> uh, so I will go into detail about that on another video down the road. But I will discuss that overall with some of these great movies, I, I can go back and just go, okay, this is great, great, great. But I will discuss that, yes, I have so many movies. I mean, I'm kind of late into this whole thing. I figured, why should I start now? <laughs> so, okay, somebody's got to start somewhere. So I decided that I'm going to get in there and start myself to get start getting into the movie critics and get into reviewing rather than going around talking to individuals talk to you guys and you can listen for me and we discuss from there and then I love any comments that if I miss anything that I forgot to tell you about something please send me a comment down there and also I would be delighted if you can go and subscribe which is up there and like or dislike which I'm greatly appreciated but I decided that I'm going to go ahead and start doing some more of these videos of uh, movie reviews so more will come out but i also am thankful for y'all to watch what everything i discussed in you know my point of view about movies and what is good what relates what stories can come out from the other movies that kind of reminds me of those are the things you're going to expect in my upcoming um movie reviews and now i will be uh, another thing to expect is my movie grading by me not by anybody else by mine my point of view. I'll get into that another time. But other than that, I also say uh, thank you for everyone's time, for taking your time to watch this wonderful video about me and my overview of all the movie reviews that it, there'll be more to come. But I will tell you the best movie that still uh, is on top of my list right now is in theater is The Martian. And I'm going to be going out and see a few other movies in the next few weeks or in the next couple weeks because I want to stay on top of these things. And I'm a movieaholic. <laughs> yeah. Someday you'll have to watch all that. Uh, you'll see all my videos someday. And I will have a whole other video about that. I'll bring my whole uh, camera with me and you can see every single thing that I have. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm a movieaholic. And I love watching movies because it's just, it, it's something that is, I am fell in love with. And it keeps me going because I'm more into that. You know, I've done drama in high school, so I kind of get into that whole acting kind of thing. So I love it. Um, I like what uh, what you have to say. Please go ahead and send me a comment down there. Uh, please follow me on any uh, social networking. that I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Oh, yeah, YouTube. Um, oh, gosh, Tumblr. <laughs> I'm on everything. Um, then Periscope. I just launched today uh, and yesterday, so I am practically get myself on every single net networking. But I'm working on what I'm going to do for my own website, so I'm working on that too as well. So I will have those too. 
So, anyways, I thank you for your time, and I, I, I just I'm so glad I can make you all feel right at home, and hopefully, I did my best to, um, you know, advertise what movies are the best to see. And I'm just gonna keep on talking about every great movie, to, and please watch for my special edition about Fifty Shades of Grey. And that, I do have that. I am also on SlideShare.net, so you can please check me out there as well. And I do have that in SlideShares rather, uh, for you uh, for 18 years older, I would suggest to read. And you can also check that out yourself as well. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day and great weekend and whatever day you're watching this. Please have a wonderful day. Um, I think I covered everything. <laughs> so thank, thank you again. And... You know where to find me, all right here on YouTube. Please subscribe, and you can get all my new latest movie review and anything else that comes to my mind, whatever I decide to show you at and teach you some things, okay? Okay, y'all have a wonderful night, and thank you. Au revoir. Merci.